vegan knowledge. What's up? What's up? It's my. I let you in the stream first. Right. Excellent. I let you in the stream first. It's weird. I like I'm like, why am I on top? (laughs) <laughs> it makes it, <laughs> it i am so matter. ocd i'm like it's your stream i let you in first so why did it like put me on top i don't know it's weird maybe the first one gets in goes this way i don't know how it works on there i i know like it would be nice if you could just take the boxes and move it right i know how to do it Oh, there we go. See, she's the expert. I don't know. Now I'm on here. I don't have a co-host now. Welcome everyone to Meatless Monday. I know we are meatless all the time, or that's the hope, but at least we can all be meatless on Monday to give this thing a try. And we've got some cool stuff to talk about. I want to welcome our excellent moderator, Buddha 1000 She is the most amazing excellent supporter of this stream and Dawn's stream that she does on Tuesdays. She's always there, always pumping up the crowd, trying to get everyone to like and subscribe. And when you, if you exit out of the chat and you click the like button and you make a comment, even if we're on recording, <laughs> it really helps. There we go. Now your OCD is in I order. had to leave the stream to come back in. Yeah. So whoever's first in the studio, I guess, goes on top. Okay, so I got to get in here earlier next time. I'm always messing with things and putting out links and everybody's trying to get them to come. And I'm like, wait, I'm not even there. Yeah. Uh, but welcome, j j Video Reacts, who puts together this beautiful live stream and is a vegan too. That's what <laughs> I love. We are all vegan here. Um, hey, Buddha. Welcome. Buddha welcome, 1000. Buddha, I was just talking about how great of a supporter she is for both of us. I'm so glad that we met you and um, You're amazing. Thank you. I think we um where she came from someone else's stream to your stream and then she actually took interest in our plant based journey and world over here. So thank you for coming that's, over that's and what listening. You call a supporter, you know? Everybody should have supporters like Buddha. I mean, not to blow smoke up your butt, Buddha, but that that means a lot to creators. It really does when they get an audience that is attentive and who, you know, I know sometimes things come up and you may not always be able to make it, but you have made it like every stream, you know? I think maybe you've missed one, two times. I don't know. I don't remember. And and you're an active participant. You encourage others to like and subscribe we are blessed to have you a part of both of our streams. So I, and, and I, I never really, you know, we always laugh and joke, but I never take a minute to be really serious and, and hit that with you because I really, and I'm sure Jen does too, appreciate you so much. I mean, really, that, that means a lot. You know what I mean? It really does. Thank, Thank you. you. We're going to just dedicate this whole stream to Buddha. <laughs> She said, no problem, girls. I enjoy you girls' content. Well, thank you. And guess what? It's working Thanks, because Buddha. we are at, I know um, J&J Video over here is like soaring way above this, but we are at 93 <laughs> right now. So we're almost hitting that 100. And so if everyone is All here, right. if you're watching the replay, please Let's subscribe. Get it to 100. We want to get this information out like to as many people as possible and the more you know people that we can have like and share this the better um to get us more people that we can hopefully save and heal them and that brings us to the name of the stream heal and it's teach them how to fish baby don't give them fish teach them how to fish for themselves so they can heal themselves because we're we're built to heal ourselves so we got to learn how how to use our body for that purpose what it needs to do that Yes, but we don't like fish, so we have to find a new analogy for that. Like my <laughs> my coffee bean, the carrot egg, and the coffee search. bean. I had how about search? Search. There we go. Internet search. Teach them how to Google themselves instead of uh, how to do it. Chat GPT. Oh yeah, that's the new one, right? So for those of you who probably might be new here, I think everybody here has heard the story, but in 2019, I saw a documentary called uh, Raw. It was just about these people who went on these raw vegan diets and started like experiencing healing. A lady healed her cancer on there and reversed, uh, some people reversed other diseases and skin conditions. And Woody Harrelson was on there like, she, what made you watch that, Jen? Well, somebody here 
was into growing their own microgreens and started getting into raw foods and mm -hmm. and and showed me this and I was like, you know, that that's really pretty wild. I think I might want to want to try that. And it was somebody and took it and her. ran with it. She is sitting here as we speak. So thank you. If you had never showed that to me, I would have never been on this raw healing vegan journey and just and if you hadn't taken it and ran with it and stuck to it, I probably wouldn't be doing it. So thank you. And then so I tried it for three days, then a week, and then I was feeling lots of energy. Um, next thing I know, coming up on a month, I remember that year because it was April. It was April 5th of 2019. And the reason I know that it was spring so well is because that year I didn't get any seasonal allergies that I had had since forever i mean even when me and you met like years and years ago i would deal with these terrible colds like most recent to that out in like 2018 i was starting to get these bronchial colds in the winter that i almost couldn't breathe and so it was like just lots of you know colds and mucus and allergies and not all the time but during certain times of the year and it, it they didn't come on that year no itchy watery eyes nothing and now i i can contribute that to probably eliminating the dairy i feel so bad for mitch over at american dream trading he's one of the hosts of the lives that we do um well he's like coaches one of coaches assistants and you know he is going through it he's got a really bad strep throat and he just is really under the weather and it was so weird i was just telling you yesterday it's weird to hear people. It's so, it's like foreign to me when people say they're sick. I'm like, you're sick. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, cause you and I literally have not been sick in a good, what, five, six years? At least. Yeah. No colds, none of that because of how we eat and the vitamins that we take. I drink, we take Moringa. We always talk about Moringa powder. Moringa powder boosts the immune system. I mean, we've made it through Rona, all of that stuff. You know what I mean? So, so you right. have to be politically correct. And right. haven't haven't dealt with any of it. So we've been blessed. You know what I mean? We have truly been blessed to have found a secret. And and I say that not to say that if you jumped off a bridge, I would jump off too. Chances are we may have found that anyway. And if I hadn't met you and I heard about vegan stuff, I probably would have gone down that road. So, but I know watching you stick to it and say, wow, you know, and I saw the health benefits that you were going through. Cause remember I, I lingered on with a little bit of chicken from time to time. I'm like, well, it's chicken or it's seafood. It's like fish. That's, that's healthy. Right. But then when I realized how all meat period, no matter how much it is it's dead flesh of an animal um and when you eat death you feel like death eventually <laughs> i mean you you you've got a point when you say you eat all the emotions and um strife that that animal went through right before it died that gets injected into your bloodstream and into your system not to mention your body doesn't like digesting flesh of any kind so you know, once I got into the nuts and bolts of that, along with watching you enjoy the health benefits of it, it was a no, it was a no brainer, mm -hmm. you know, I'm like, oh, hell no. And then I saw them punching the cow in the head and I was done. I'm like, oh, hell no, I'm not, I'm not supporting an industry that does that to animals. You know what I mean? So, you know, and now it's just really become um, a passion, you know, it's, it's definitely your passion and I share that with you because I care about the, their beings too. Exactly. You know, animals have, fa I was just telling you the other animals have families. You know, you see, I saw a video, uh, this guy, Brad James, it's also part of ADT. He has these videos on his Instagram where he's, show, you know how when we're over in the pines and we see ducks and they have the little babies walking behind them. Yeah. They came together and procreated and had babies. They have families too. Yeah. And because they don't speak English and walk with two legs and are able to articulate the way that we can does not mean that they don't have a right to live a, a peaceful life on this planet. They're not our food. Exactly. And you know, I, if people have it wrong, the, the thing that, um, I wanted to get at with this stream too. And that brings me to a point is that for me, 
I, you know, thank you. Oh, I have the sound. Could you guys even hear me? Buddhist. Yeah, it, w it was low, but. Oh, okay. Was I'm glad. I was like, why didn't you tell me my headset wasn't? <laughs> I'm just well, kidding. You, you, you can hear it hear you plenty though. oh good good okay that's because i'm yeah. talking so loud i feel like i'm yelling to the neighborhood right yeah, probably... and i'm not beating anybody up that eats meat don't get me wrong but it's like you know when i for me when i realized that i started feeling that way you know what i mean it's some people who you know it is what it is i ate meat for 50 freaking years well, that's <laughs> you know the whole I mean? thing about it like me i started out with this like you said, we watched that. I said, oh, I was looking for a diet, maybe a way to like lose weight, you know, lower blood pressure, maybe because I had heard it was high at the dentist or something, you know what I mean? But it, it's like, that was for me a diet at that point. So it was all about health. And that's what I started researching. I was like, I saw um, not only me and then the back pain, I lost 50 pounds, you know, which yep, I've kept yep. off for four years which is cool because other diets i like always mention i was up and down you know so yeah. i started losing weight i started feeling all this energy i had no more back pain that i had for years and i started researching all these stories of people that have healed themselves and reverse type 2 diabetes and different things and i started researching the health benefits of, of vegetables and fruits and that's when you talk about how we don't get sick it's like you our bodies are pretty much like a like a gas you know a car i always say so like if your um tank or your car is supposed to have this kind of gas i realized looking at us and looking at other animals who eat just plants our body is set up like theirs so that's why we're getting all these issues it's causing the insulin resistance it's causing heart um problems because our valves are you know are clogging up and from what you were talking about it is making me think too i didn't know this it was 42 years i even at that point i'm telling you about six months in i still hadn't made the connection of why people eat meat and i mean why the animals you shouldn't eat animals you know what i mean like for me it was all about health until then until i made this revelation one day when I'm walking by the cat and I'm seeing the, her leg and then I'm, I'm in these vegan groups and I'm seeing these videos and these terrible things that happen in slaughterhouses. And that's when I showed, I think like Dawn said, she was kind of teetering, um, you know, back and forth and, you know, tr still staying on the raw salads. Cause I was always making this big salad every night cause I was raw. So I made a salad for her and then i would make one you know for me and we had these these huge salads so she was still eating that but she was still eating some regular food but the minute that she saw the video and that brings us to a little acronym it starts out usually this is how my journey went it started with health and then it went to um really for me it went to animals and then i learned about the environment but that didn't make sense to put hail so i put heal mm -hmm. and so like then i learned of, of like i was like you know without pushing her though and this brings us to like how we should deal with everybody because we don't know everything at that point you may not be on a part of your journey where people want to make the connection but i never really pushed i just kind of would be like hey check out this this video if you want to watch it you know and i would just be talking about hey do you know what broccoli does or do you know that you know just saying though meat kind of i learned today that that meat can actually cause this 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 and this and there's this whole you know and that's when you watch that video i still remember you started crying and that's when it got in, I think. And you decided at that point, I think that's when you said no more meat. Yeah. Yeah, that was, um, I was crying in anger, you know, because that was abusive, what they were doing to that cow, mm -hmm. you know, and it had nothing to do with slaughter. I'm like, just go ahead and slaughter the cow already. Why do you have to beat it up? You know what I mean? That cow was like, just like, goosh 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 and just kept looking up at the guy like why are you punching me yeah aren't you gonna kill me anyway 
can we just get it over? Why, like, why are you punching me? Yeah, I don't even like you know to think I mean? about that. I don't even remember I know, it. I didn't dude. even watch it because it, it was it was it was horrific. Yeah, you know, and it moved me enough to make me never eat a piece of meat again. Well, there's a movie you know? um, that I just shared on the page that, and and I think a lot of people enjoy the taste of meat. And they don't realize there's so many, like, once you get it out of your system and you start eating beans and all these different, you know, vegetables and That's creations, funny. you... I was just thinking, not to cut you off, your journey was slightly different because I started, you started for the health and then went to animals and environment. And I started with animals and then health and now... You know, the environment, I'm realizing the benefits of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was the animal thing that got me first, not even so much the health, because I knew that it was unhealthy, but I continued to eat meat for a little bit. And then I saw that, and my heart went out to the animals, and that's what moved me. Mm -hmm. And that's what you I know? think it's... Then I realized, damn, I shouldn't be eating that anyway. Right. You know? And sometimes when I realize all that. We tend to like think that our own health, I mean, it's important, but for a lot of my life, especially when I was younger, I'm pretty strict on the whole food, highly raw plant based. Now I'm not even eating any of the vegan processed foods or any processed foods, not even yeah, a we don't dressing. Eat any of that but when I was younger, we don't, you know, care about our health. Like it's like, yeah, it's not healthy. Oh well, just give me extra of that or give me this or you know what I mean? And, and like, even throughout older, we're like, oh, let's cheat. We're going to have some sugar or we'll, we're going to have sweets, even if we're on a diet. When it becomes like, and when you make that connection all of a sudden where I said, wait, what is the difference? Why is it, why are we taking our pet like so seriously? We treat them like family, you know, we take them to the vet if they need it. We're, we're like, we, we would be devastated if we heard somebody said, this is dog on your plate, you know, and, right. or you're eating cat. I mean, we would, we would look at this person like they were crazy. And well, then why is it that, that, Cows have a little personality. Every animal that we've ever met, pigs apparently are smarter than dogs when it comes to doing, you know, different things that they test them with. So I'm like, wait, so what's the difference? A chicken, okay? Everybody, people have you know, pet turkeys around there. We've seen these videos on that um, that one YouTube channel where the guy has a pet chicken and pet turkey. And, and then there's like cow that was playing with a dog and a, a lady pet and a cow. And I'm like, these are animals. What made it okay for me to eat one and be okay with that and not the other? And it was just this really profound, like it happened, like, like I said, like six months in, it wasn't anything to do with that until it all kind of connected and it's like wow then it became not about me so if i'm cheating on my diet i'm gonna have like some processed vegan meat or vegan cheesecake not ever anything that would you know exploit animals because it's it becomes outside of yourself so it's like yeah, yeah i don't care how it tastes i'm not doing that that doesn't sound right anymore you know like you said it, it reminds you of dead flesh you know and if you're not there on that part of your journey that's okay because it's like we None might as well were. be eating each other. <laughs> and then the um the other thing was yeah. uh, of course we did the little giggle, right? <laughs> I was like, what's up? What, what was the big deal about milk? No lesbian jokes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the lesbian pun kind of. <laughs> we might as well be eating each other. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Right, right. Oh, uh, the and then the other thing I was thinking about was the milk thing, like, and then it goes into your your pizza journey. <laughs> so the elimination uh -huh. of pizza. It took me a while to get, you know, I kept seeing these things about like I never understood. You know, let's go back to this. When I first became on this journey, I didn't even know the difference between vegan and vegetarian, and a lot of people don't. And and plant-based whole food plant-based i mean basically vegan is a lifestyle that means to do the least amount of harm possible so in everything you do even if you are um using makeup you know you want to use a brand that doesn't have animal testing if you can i mean there's people who are you know more on the side of that than try to make sure every product is and then there's people that are 
living the vegan lifestyle and they're everybody's just doing the best they can. It's not like we all didn't by mistake have a product that we wouldn't even think had cheese in it. You know what I mean? But vegan, I realized wasn't a diet. It was, you don't wear clothes that, you know, had to do with, um, that are made by animals. And you start after a while to start to look at that, like look at things differently, you know, than you would yeah. have before. I remember watching this video on um, Facebook. I was telling you, and this lady's got this cat that she takes everywhere with her to the store and, in the car and everything and his name is beef and i'm like it all of a sudden my vegan brain went to oh man you're 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 in love with this cat but you're calling him beef, come here, beef. Come here, beef. which is a it's a cow <laughs> that they that turned now. into meat so like the poor cow you know what i mean that's we've just we depersonalized <laughs> the animal right but um yeah the 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 milk and the dairy industry is so like just it's worse almost than anything because i never put together that a cow doesn't just like produce milk all the time like didn't you feel like That's you, so funny, you pictured these cows just sitting around smiling and ready to put milk out for us and i'm like when i realized that they inseminate i don't know that i pictured them smiling but well you know what i mean how the commercials are like smiling cows and stuff you know like that doesn't hurt I them so. they're just they're just you know there to produce milk for us. right and yeah and so what i ended up learning was that they're artificially inseminated on these assembly lines I saw this terrible like image one time of this with and then they have a baby they carry it for like close to nine months or even a little more than we do they have the baby and then the baby is still like kind of taken away from them they're crying out then they're over milked and they get infections and that's why on these milking machines all of a sudden they have to get these antibiotics and I mean, it, some of it's getting in the milk. And it, then all of a sudden, I was like, yeah, why in the heck am I drinking a cow's milk? That's for the baby cow. And I don't think I ever realized that. And this was like way later in the darn um, journey. So like all this stuff now that we're talking about and we're saying is a journey. Like I didn't learn any of it until like nine months now into my plant base. I'm like, wait that's what happens. That's why I'm not eating. That's why I'm not having cheese. I just learned the rules. I'm like, Oh, I'm just not supposed to have it as a vegan. Mm -hmm. So that, that explains why health being the first word of the acronym of the letter would be health because it's just absolutely not healthy. Our digestive systems aren't meant to digest meat, you know, and dairy products. That's why a lot of people, oh, he's lactose intolerant. Everybody is lactose intolerant. It's it's just some people have more of an adverse reaction to it than others. But everybody technically is lactose intolerant. Right. Um, some people's bodies just have the common sense enough to reject it like it's supposed to. <laughs> and everybody's um, rejecting it in a certain way, like skin conditions. Yeah, that's, when you live in just because your body's not rejecting it like a person who's technically lactose intolerant. Trust and believe later on, your body will reject it in the form of cancer, in the form of autoimmune diseases, in the form of high cholesterol. Oh, your body will reject it. There's a lot of stories too that I read. Um, if you're, if your kids have like different skin conditions or even you as older, like um, eczema and things like that, when they eliminate dairy from their diet, they end up cleaning that up it, it's like it goes away just like mucus because our body produces mucus when it has a foreign substance that it doesn't like so that makes sense when you get rid of dairy and you get rid of milk and those kind of products and you know and then we had the stream a couple of weeks ago that said when you eat the high saturated fats like meat and dairy it um, causes the insulin resistance so your insulin can't let the sugars in so it backs up sugar in your blood i mean when you look at it, it's a very small population of people. And I commend everyone who's here just to support me that's not even vegan um, or is just thinking about it. But to come on and to open your mind and listen to this, we're such a small percentage of people. But when you really look at the logic of it, it makes like so much sense. And you have to just almost shut your mind off to all the programming you, you receive and still do because... The industry doesn't want us to, you know, the, the the milk industry certainly doesn't want you to think it's a bad thing. 
they're making money, no. you know, and the more we buy plant-based milks, it's going to help keep them producing more of that. And maybe we won't have to have regular milk. Yeah, it's like dairy farmers can really, it's, it's, it's a matter of switching over what you're accustomed to. And I, and I get it. Change is difficult. Change is hard for some people that just change is difficult. People, we're creatures of habit. We don't like to make changes, especially huge changes. And for a farmer to go from a cow dairy farmer to a cashew milk uh, maker or an almond milk maker, but it would behoove them to learn how to do it. Start on a small scale, set up part of your operation as producing nut milk and get like, get good at it, get proficient at it, grow it and scale it. And then next thing you know, if every far dairy farmer took the time to at least learn about it and do that and start learning how to produce nut milk, think about what that would do for the industry. I mean, if big pharma was smart, right? They would start pushing more things like herbal supplements and vitamins because a person can't spend money with you if they're dead. If you get people to live longer, isn't that a longer source of an in, of an of a revenue stream? You would think, right? But the the medications that they're able I mean, to provide and the medical treatment and the right. screenings and this and that, it it why are you killing people off? It's like, you know, it's like, come on, dude. It's like, you know, get with the program, help people to live longer and they'll pay you whatever you want. Yeah. You know, you show me the fountain of youth. Yeah. I'll bust my ass to try to pay for that. You know, doctors that are just prescribing medicine and not getting to the root cause of the disease, mm -hmm. you know, and then you got doctors like Fung that are getting to the root cause. People are going to want to go to him because he's curing people, you know, not just writing a prescription and sending them on their way and keeping them sick. You know, that's not the way to, to, to help people. Exactly. You know? Keep them around longer. That's a longer, that's more money you can get for a longer period of time. Mm -hmm. It's common sense. That makes a lot of sense, you know, because if you, if you think about it, there's, we don't think feel like that's a good point because we don't feel like there's money in the wellness but there really is like you said there yeah you know keep if people knew that they could live longer and reverse disease you know you could have just as many doctors helping lifestyle medicine helping people to do that helping them to sell life mm -hmm. itself that's you a know great what I point mean? and i was just um telling you the other day too that um we did it dot health who i interviewed peter um we'll have that up it's a pre-recorded one we're editing it right now but there uh, there's a doctor that they're going to have on there on wednesday and his name is dr clapper and he goes into uh, medical schools and does, has a program that he educates um like I think they're in their first or second year of medical school and he teaches them the importance of nutrition, how it has to do with health. Cause it's completely separate. Like everyone says in medical school, there's not time to learn about nutrition. So they just learn, this is the disease. Yeah, this is the medicine you give them when they have this disease. And this is kind of where you send them on their way. So having that, will start to help having that in their, you know, in their arsenal and then in their resources to be able to remember from and say, Hey, you know, I want to get this person well. Yeah. And it's so funny too, because it, when you stop and think about it, a doctor, they are medically trained in a, a surgical procedure. Mm -hmm. And, but ultimately people became doctors because when someone was sick, they would come to them and look for a cure, look for the doctor to help them get well. Mm -hmm. Well, how great would it be for the doctor to be able to give you a, a diet plan that can keep your body healthy, not only help it repair from the damage that it caused, but to try to keep it that way or even prevent it. If you're pre-diabetic, you know, or if, if you've been doing things and the doctor knows, okay, well, you've been eating, but you know what, Jen, another thing is half the doctors are eating that way. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, so, it's a big thing, you know, and maybe yeah. them hearing that early on will change, you know, the way they're eating. And that's one of the reasons this is such a hard thing to, 
to help people understand because it's not really mainstream and so people look right. to the people in, in charge to kind of give them this advice but we're, we have to do our own research like me what was selling me on it and that's why i love having guests on here who've had health changes or who have had similar effects of the energy and had you know no people who've had health changes because hearing those stories when i started googling it i could not believe it like they were reversing everything with this you know and i'm surprised it's not on the the evening news you know but it's it's not of course yet there yet you know because the the evening news is on channel like say you know channel channel 13 or 12 and channel 12 is sponsored by uh the milk industry let's say they're doing commercials or the egg industry you know what i mean so there's a lot of underlying things that go on with money that you may not be able to say everything you want to say that's why i love youtube oh my and god Facebook. remember where's the beef yes that whole campaign and everybody was where's the beef the little old lady and it's like now, you know what I mean? It's like where's the plant-based beef? That's what I'm gonna make a new right. commercial, right? And there's <laughs> lots of stuff, you know, and and I don't even know, I'm not even well versed enough to really go into detail in the environment, but I know that um I've from what I've read, like if you think about it, when they say it could help towards world hunger, if you look at let's say they take 10 cows, this is a under, you know, just estimating like it's 10 million, but say you take 10 cows and you give them like tons and tons of this, um, of, of food, you're feeding the cow, all that food and grain could be going to making food for the world. And instead it's going to feed these 10 cows that can probably feed this small amount of people. So, and there's all this land that's being used that they're breeding Animal the cows. Animal agriculture is killing the earth. They're clearing out all these rainforests, which not only is healthy for the earth, but helps cleans the air, helps to clean the air. And they're cutting these forests down to make way for pastures for cows to grave, to graze. Um, and, you know, that's killing the earth's atmosphere. And then they go and spray chemtrails to try to make up for it. And then they kill the human beings that breathe that shit in. And there's like, I think I it's read it's cycle. like one of the highest um, causes of greenhouse gases. So I think anybody who's into environment um, and could come on and even have and give us a conversation or I know we did it health is um, in uh, partnership with climate healers. So there's a lot of information on that if you're interested in that. And that is a reason that would transform you to becoming plant-based. If it's, if you're an environmentalist, like, and you want to know more about that, let us know. We can provide the resources to you. It's just, and so when you look at it, like Dawn said, it just makes so much logical sense. Health, environment, animals are suffering. And then where did the L come in? Because this girl lentils. here has <laughs> been doing some crazy, amazing things with lentils. And she gave me this idea that if you are not plant-based or you haven't, you're deciding like, okay, yeah, you guys are right, but I don't know where to start and I don't know what to eat. Take your, whatever your ground meat that you were going to eat with your next meal and use lentils and season them up just like you would. That's the key to it because seasoning is everything. Like she had uh, lentil tacos and lentils are like, they're, they're legumes, I guess you'd call them legumes, however you say it. They're kind of a bean, but not considered a bean, but they're really, really healthy for you. They've got all kinds of vitamins and healing power. And this is tacos that she made and she put- I had that this afternoon for lunch. And I threw some, got a, got a flour tortilla, threw some lettuce and tomato and some red onion on there. And that's lentils that are seasoned with just some sea salt, some pepper, some garlic, and some taco seasoning. It tastes just like Taco Bell soft tacos. And I mean, I'm talking about the consistency, the, the, the texture of the, of the beans is almost exactly like their beef. And it tastes just like it, if not better. A little bit of taco seasoning. Um sauce on there i'm telling you that it tasted like a taco bell sauce. i taco. thought it smelled like it i came walking in the kitchen i'm it like, like taco it. bell in here 
It tasted, I mean, it looked so good and smelled so good. And like, she's like, let me take a picture of that. I had to. And then I was like, wait, we could put that on the live tonight since I wanted to talk about lentils. Like I was thinking too, you could do stuff, you know, how people do stuffed green peppers, like whatever the meat is that you use. I mean, whatever the seasoning is, that's the key to it. Lentils take what, about 30 minutes not even that yep. to cook. You can get them in the bag and they're cheap. I think I pay like under $2 for a bag. We cook two of them up and that like lasts forever. And you can make different things out of them. We just have these big things of them, these big containers and like Donald scoops yeah. them out and put the taco seasoning in. And Buddha said scooping. it looks yummy. It was, it is. I'm probably going to have another batch of them for dinner. It's like I'll, I'll go Mexican or Indian. I'll put curry in it instead of the taco seasoning with the salt and the pepper and put, still put them in the wrap, but I don't have the onions and all that on it. And I, and I just eat it with the curry on it. And it's just like curry lentils in, in a, in a tortilla. And it's so good. And it just tastes like you're eating some Indian food. You know what I mean? It is literally good. We got a little 20 second video of, of me stirring up the lentils. You want me to play that, Jen? Yeah, let's play that while we're on this lentil. And then I'm going to talk about how I like to have them. Okay. And now uh... came to a boil. And I just turned the fire down on low. We'll recover them. And that's so just simmer down a little bit, and then they just go ahead and cook through. Exciting video. Yep. You bring them to a boil, and once the water has kind of boiled down off of them, the pot fills up with these beans, with these lentils, and just let them, you know, cook with the remainder of the water. Put it on an extremely low heat, like the warm low, and let them cook for about another 20, 30 minutes, if that and and just taste them and if they're nice and soft then they're done you know and it, and you can have them to where they have a little bit of a not a crunch but a little bit of a, a pop texture instead of being mushy you can cook them a little bit longer if you want a mushy you know mm -hmm. some people that have bad teeth may not want to be like eating them a little bit hard but even when they're a little bit harder yeah, they're, they're not, not so hard, hard. Like, yeah. yeah they're not hard they're still soft because they're just a little texture up but you can make a mushy, you can, it depends on how mushy you want them. They're going to be mushy even when they're done cooking, but you can get a mushier and mushier and mushier. It depends on what you like. So yeah, but that makes a huge pot. Two bags that are about this size make a huge, that pot, when that water boils down, those lentils are almost to the top of that pot. And that's one of those big um, Dutch oven type pan pots. So yeah, it makes a huge amount. It lasts us for like a week. If you know? we, and we eat a lot of them too. Like actually, a week is not accurate. It's probably more like three or four days, and then we're but back. But for normal for people, it might. It's like it depends how many people are in your family. It might last yeah. longer. But and if it's just you, it'll last you a week probably. Exactly. I've had like um, what I've been doing is putting them. I've got this uh, brown and red rice with quinoa. Uh, or uh, quinoa, I always say quinoa, and um, and it comes in like a bag. It's called seeds seeds of change rice, and they've got all different kinds. She likes the one with garlic in it, and um, this oh, one garlic. has flax seed in it, which is really good. And I read that lentils are good for your hormones, and if you're middle aged or like me, uh, 46, I am like hormones are going like wacky, um, you know. So I think in that pre-menopause these are really supposed to be good for kind of balancing those out so that's what made me start looking into them and i was like wow these are good and she started making them for different things and i'm like i've got to tell everybody this because this is a really good when i just have them with rice and some little bit of salt and pepper and i mean even you can put any kind of seasoning on these they don't have like a taste like you know like a chili bean has a certain taste and to me a pinto bean has a kind of taste but you can put them with other beans even and i think if you take your whatever your meat dishes are and just to start with take do it on monday if that's the only time you want to do it do it a couple of days see if you can do it and take and make some type of really good beans and like a rice so you can still get carbs They're really good over rice corn you know you have can that, just put regular salt and pepper in it 
right? And then put in some uh, like veggies, like a little bit of broccoli, some corn, um, maybe some carrots. And you've got like what's almost like a beef stew. It yeah. tastes like that's exactly what it tastes. It's just regular salt and pepper without the taco, without the curry and put some veggies in. It's like a beef stew. Put that over some rice or some or some mashed potatoes. Dude, I made like a shepherd's pie with it. Oh, good it's, stuff, man. That was really cool looking. I didn't even get a picture of that. She ate it too quickly. Darn. Good. I remember coming in and I thought it was rice. She had this little bowl that we got uh, for free from our local Asian restaurant over the... Um, One of those little restaurant. ceramic rice bowls. They were giving out like little gift sets to like regular customers. I guess we were on a uh, Asian kick that that year but they were like here you go and um and so we used those little bowls and it, it looked so cool i thought it was rice and she's like no that's mashed potatoes and i went ran in here i got a call for work or something and i was like oh did you eat it oh i didn't get a picture but i'm sure you'll make that again now you might have to do it tonight we have potatoes but the cool thing is potatoes are actually i was talking about this potatoes are not bad for you like you know people some people like staying away from them but it's really it's got b vitamins in it the potato is not as bad it's what you're putting on it that's usually bad that that causes the weight gain the real butter the sour cream but you can get vegan see i don't even vegan. get down with the sour cream i just i do put vegan butter on it though and some sea salt and pepper that's about it and like the thing is if you like start to do that you'll realize that you're you're filling up and then what i you know i i encourage it, everybody to do the big huge raw salad and eat that first before you start eating your carbs like everything that's on my super salad on the video on youtube try to put that in there that's going to keep you from getting sick it's going to give you energy it's going to and and put some fruit like during the day eat fruit instead of like your regular lunch it'll fill you up you know and you'll start to just get a taste for this stuff instead and at dinner if you eat the big salad and then you replace your meat and everything else you already have, like you probably already eat vegetables with your meal. It's just that little meat part. You're replacing chicken, pork, and beef with tons of different varieties of beans and rice and different types of starches. You know, you can have so many filling things with this, you know, potatoes, um, anything that, that it's you- It's like you already eat the stuff anyway, just eat more of it <laughs> and yeah. less of the other stuff. And the you know? season, if you season it, like Dawn loves garlic, she loves curry, she loves taco seasoning. It, all of those things make it give her that taste, you know, that she likes. I like, you know, I, I actually like that garlic rice and I'm getting more into garlic the older, you know, I feel like I'm getting. But I was pretty like bland eater anyway. No wonder I was able to eat raw, you know, a little salt. Speaking pepper, of the environment, that, we got to get a filter so we can stop buying these. Yes. Well, that's, we're all, all doing classic. the best we can. We're, yeah. we're on a journey. I'm only four years in. I, I think I'll get it right here at, at some point. All right. But um, yeah, man, it's awesome. It is. I mean, and, and like, so I think the most important thing is, okay, here's all the reasons. And then here's the a way that you can do it. Cause that's the hardest thing, you know? I thought we were getting some drumming there. That sounded so loud. It must have been right near your microphone. <laughs> but, I mean, it's just, it's really fun, too, once you get into it. Like, we like sharing ideas, and, like, you start to really enjoy the taste of food. I've, I've been telling, um, I mentioned this on the Facebook page, the Veganology page. I do, have not ate salad dressing in almost two months now or at least a month. And it started because I started getting really weird about thinking I'm putting all this good stuff in my body. And I started reading the ingredients on the salad dressing. So I was like, I want to make my own. I like literally am on this. I do not want to eat anything processed. I just want all whole food. Like if it's not a chunk of broccoli cooked or raw, like here's what I've been eating for dinner. I've been eating my little mixture of cabbage, spinach, um, Brussels sprouts. I'm really on the Brussels sprouts. Corn, um, well, corn goes in my salad, but I eat like celery, mushrooms. Um, oh, it's like 10 different vegetables that I put in there and I cook that. Um, and I have that with 
the um like i kind of eat that alongside my potato and then i eat the beans and rice and then i eat like um the big raw salad first ahead of time and then um whatever we end up having like sometimes i'll have something sweet for dessert like raisins and things like that so i'm like it really it's just you can get excited about what you're eating and i'm like oh, i really like the taste of these vegetables because i realized my entire life i was always putting something on top of them you right. know or over salting them and and even though i still use a little bit of salt and pepper i'm not quite no salt because i know that i don't eat all day maybe even if i do a couple pieces of fruit so i don't eat a lot of salt and our body has salt in it so that's how i justify like in my cooked vegetables sometimes i'll throw a little bit of salt or sometimes on the beans the iodized salt because see, i still eat a little bit too much salt. see that's why i'm like high blood pressure man you can still do things like in moderation or you know what i'm saying but this room is like really hot though i just <laughs> that's why i went off this camera and opened the window really it's hot, hot out it's gotten hot down here man yeah i it don't think really we're fast it's like really becoming spring now it, it got there like in the time that it used to spring was actually warm this year that was a good thing yeah, you no, know, but I'm like doing everything not to turn on the AC because I don't want to spend that electric just yet. We're gonna That's have right. to put it on at some point, but come I'm on, like, now. You know, get that, get those stock trading going so you can be rich. So I made a hundred bucks today, Buddha. I'm getting better. All last week was green. I made money every day last week. I am getting better. Shout out to Coach. Um, yeah, it's not Coach this sick. It's his boy Mitch, but coach had eye surgery and so yeah we're gonna keep the prayers for coach too because coach is still in the healing process from his eye surgery and it's not going like he really wants it to so yeah we gotta we gotta keep our prayer keep him in our prayers and his wife had surgery so thank you for the prayers for for coach prayers and for, for mitch. mitch and you know i hope um mitch feels better and i hope coach and and coach don't forget if you're listening you're probably not but don sent you my healing smoothie of concoction there because i looked up everything that had to do with like bananas carrots um everything that had to do with that could heal your eyes it has a lot of vitamin a and i sent that over to her with each of the reasons why to eat those daily or put them all in a smoothie and i mean really that's the way i heal my body if anything starts to go wrong like i remember i was like sitting we in my desk quick in this house boy lemon and ginger <laughs> I had a, um, yeah, like if I've ever even some felt lemon and ginger. a little bit off, like if my throat, anything, we, we do lemon and ginger. But remember, I had like my arm was numb and my foot at one point, like, I don't know if I was leaning on it, sleeping on it weird. But that day I had um, all of a sudden I was like, I need celery because it opens up your circulation. So anytime I've even had anything happen over the years, I've been able to use foods and look look and research and use the right foods, whether it be in a smoothie or um, I started drinking celery juice and now I have no issues. I feel perfect. I'm working out. And like, it's just, you know, when you start to like sit at a desk a lot, I know that you can just forget to like move around too. So obviously I've started back on my stepper because when you sit down a lot, you gotta, you know, do something for your circulation too, which brings me to, uh, we'll be having a live stream on Friday with Angela. Dawn, you make the best thumbnails. <laughs> Thank you. I love the thumbnails. Like the one for this one, I love green. So, of course, I love the little person sitting in the yoga for um, in green. And she did one for Friday. Um, we'll have a special, I guess it's like a um, uh, healing journey but this one's going to be more about working out and Angela is actually she is a fitness instructor for seniors and for older people it's called Boomer and Beyond Wellness Angela Freschetti I might be messing up her last name um, so she's going to come on at 7 p.m. on Friday and we're going to talk to her about her vegan journey and then she's actually going to take us through an easy workout that we can do um, and that's what she does so i'm like excited i'm like okay so come ready on friday for to, to go through this come workout. hang out buddha 
<laughs> now, everybody else, we won't be able to see if you're doing really that. doing the workout. Uh, but for us, uh, I'll stay. I'll do it. I'll go on camera. Maybe. I'm still scared. What if I mess up? No, I'll do it. I'll go along with the workout if I have the uh, right She stuff. wants us to work out on camera? Well, she said we could if we want to. We can work out. I mean, we can go along with her. I told her an easy one for people who might be sitting at a desk. So we'll see. Um, or I, I can get just, on my total gym and my step and my spinner. I know Dawn is the fitness. I was like, this is really one for you. You and her will probably be talking about working out. But I did start getting on my stepper now. I've done it for two days, so I'm trying to form that habit. And um, I did a long one yesterday and tried to do something with my arms, which I am feeling an aching in the back of my arms when you start using those muscles. But our our bodies are creatures of habit. You know, when yeah. you don't work out, your body gets used to not working out. When you don't eat right, your body gets craves that. So now it's going to crave the good stuff. And I'm just telling you, I can't. This is why we do this. Like, I know that you guys sit here and listen to us ramble, and I'm so thankful. But at some point, maybe something will, like, spark your interest. Or maybe you'll try lentils and, you know, and you'll really like them. And you'll start replacing some of your meals uh, with lentils and some beans and rice. And, and really let it resonate that you can reverse disease heal yourself, heal the planet, heal the animals. And then you'll, you know, basically be able to come on. And I'm just saying, and once you're healed, then you can come become a guest on the show. And that I did want to mention that too. If you're someone who has a story that you can come on here and tell us about your healing, um, in the comments, actually, we will, we'll bring you on. Yes, you can email jjveganknowledge at gmail. You can visit us on Facebook at Vegan Knowledge. There's a Facebook page where um, it's real interactive. We do like little um, polls and games and uh, like taking a poll, not like any exercising on polls like we saw on, um, what was it? Married, Married at first sight, sight right? <laughs> 90 Day Fans. Yeah, I was going to say that. Jasmine was getting it. <laughs> uh, but yeah so like it's just it's Aerosol. really cool making it rain I feel like on this journey I am I've been like had so many health benefits that I feel like it has to be like a public service that we come on and we tell everybody about you know like our experience with it and you just feel just better spiritually I think I do I do I definitely feel better spiritually. It's like, you know, you put good stuff in and it affects you not just on the outside, but on the inside as well. And that shines through, you know, it helps your, helps your chi, you know, um, body, mind, and spirit work all need to be working all on one accord. You can't have one working and the others not working or the others working and one not working. When, when you get, and it all starts with the mind, you get the mind, right? Cause the mind has to control all of that. So you get the mind thinking correctly, then it starts doing the proper things that you need to do to make your body right. And when the two are on one accord, the spirit can't help but be elevated. So you feel good inside. You feel good mentally, physically. You're going to feel good spiritually. That helps your spirit elevate. That gets you to the, that, that 452 hurts frequency that we need to be in you know what i mean <laughs> that's how to, i feel about the um like you, you said it's pull that up. a choice you know it's a yeah. like you have to decide like i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna eat this way you have to do it first and then show yourself the habit of doing it and it's like don't look at it like something you're um you know, like something you're, you're taking away from yourself or doing negative, try to look at it as an, an like an excitement, like, I'm going to start this new journey, you know, like you said, and then eventually Make you get, an adventure. On that yes, <laughs> couldn't think of the word. And I just, I'm, I'm impressed with your journey, because you kind of went at a different pace than me, but you still got there. And you're in the same now we're at the same point in our journey where we can kind of share the the way that we feel you know and and you're completely you know uh, like in the same you you understand the whole reasoning yeah, no, behind no, it no dairy and all of that i was still eating the pizza and all but yeah none of that anymore and you know i feel good i feel really good um i feel healthy i feel strong 
And, you know, I just, I feel really good. I have no complaints whatsoever, you know? So it is definitely something that I would recommend if you have the patience with yourself and the determination to make the change and just keep taking it one day at a time, you know, yeah. because changes don't happen overnight. But the cool thing about a vegan diet is you can live it, a vegan lifestyle for a week, two weeks and see almost immediate changes. Yeah. In a short, like, like they say, you, you know, you try to lose weight. Okay. Give it a couple months. Yeah. This one with, when you go with this, it happens quickly because your body's like, yes, give me that. And it reacts that way. And, and you can eat as much as you want. Like there's the, the cool you know? part about it is you yeah. can eat as much as you want, literally. Like, I mean, if you're trying to like strictly lose weight and you want to lose it quick, obviously you may want to eat a little bit less, but really the meat and dairy, I realized is what was putting weight on me. Cause I was only eating one time at yeah. dinner, the whole, like for years leading up to doing this and, and it would, I would never lose weight. But when I stopped, I did this now only eating dinner and eating the vegetables, fruits, and, you know, and, and the, even now when I eat the rice, I don't gain any weight. I don't, you know, rice and beans, ding. Oh, yeah. I thought that was for me. It was a pain, <laughs> but I am no, I just like so thankful for everyone. Oh, I was going to say one last thing too, or one more thing The um, about this, the, every single one of us that ever tra went on this journey had to start at one day, like that's it. One minute one yeah. second you know or made that even had that and idea and thought like i'm gonna make that commitment i'm gonna go buy some things and and try it you know and like you said who knows like give it a week you'll see changes two, after a week i wouldn't have stayed with it if i didn't feel good let's put it that way like after a week i was like wow i feel like i'm at the highest energy i've ever been at even when i was a teenager right now like i'm like i haven't felt this way and this is a week so of course i'm like let me try another week let me try another week and then i'm like i am into this i was reading all this stuff and looking at these videos and she, i was probably driving her crazy like look at this look at this guess what i found out guess who this person is guess what they healed guess what this is a... okay i'm like no you're good you're good i'm like oh carrots do what okay <laughs> <laughs> trying to look interested right <laughs> this is the vegetable of the week huh you know yep. but they all do such great right. and, and we body. Learn so much doing that you know what i mean i love it you know so yeah it's like thank you instead of putting stuff in that's making us sick we're putting stuff in that's healing and giving our body our body was meant to heal itself and to run at optimal level we're putting good stuff in and it's just like you said it's already eating what you eat taking out three things and putting in a ton of new creative stuff to make so yep all you got to do is give it the tools that it needs and it will take over from there it will do what you need it to do and the same thing with your mind you know you got to have food for thought as well and food for thought is positive affirmations, high, high frequencies, you know, listen to it, listen to that stuff while you're sleeping, the stuff about um, how to go vegan and all that, fill your brain because we're already inundated with, you know, the bank crisis and the economy falling and this disease and that disease. And, you know, this country wants to blow up that country. We're all inundated with the negativity. So you can control what you allow yourself to fill your mind with. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, it, it, you know, it's got to be there. You got to be aware of what's going on, but you don't have to be inundated. They say that in the secret. And, yeah. you know, turn that shit off, you know, put, put on something, you know, you listen to it, you take it in, you deal with it for a few minutes. And then it's like, okay, there's nothing that me, I personally can do in this moment to change that worldly situation or my financial situation. So the best thing I can do is get in a good positive zone so that as things come and hit me, I am ready to react to it appropriately so that I can fix the situation if it's not what I want it to be. But if exactly. you let yourself inundated, get inundated with negativity, how are you going to fix anything? How are you going to change it? How are you going to make any positive changes when you're not positive? And so food you have to can affect your that. mood for sure. Yes, it can. It really can. It can put you in a zone where you want to do that and when you feel like you can do that. Mm -hmm. And 
That is a great message. Thank you for joining me on this. You are welcome. Thanks for having me. Frequency. <laughs> We're into the frequencies this week. I'm really thankful for you being on this journey and and doing this stream with me it's really it's really cool and we're thankful for buddha for being our yes. excellent number one supporter buddha Woo! and it's all in, it's girl. all in mind body and spirit so yeah we get all in that you know i'm still working on uh, a lot of things so i'm i'm just happy that you know the food is that foundation for us that we can we can build off of when we start there it puts it in our body and then we can start you know or you can start with your mind and then you end up with your body whatever your journey is it's definitely like important to get get going on it because hey we only live once right that's it you know so we want to be here in reincarnation yeah <laughs> right that's true um so buddha says i like this message let's get vegan to fifteen thousand subscribers this year don't forget to hit that like button comment and subscribe to become a member of the vegan knowledge crew y'all yes and yes yes even One if day you got to tell us where you got the name buddha from too i'm curious even when you're watching the replay, give a comment. Let us know what you're you're thinking. Like the stream, share it if you think this could help. If you know someone who needs to heal spiritually or actually health wise, you know this would be something great to share with them. The Buddha, we can't wait to hear that. And don't forget tomorrow at seven no thirty seven thirty or eight tomorrow. I've been coming on at eight, so I think we'll just make eight the time. You know, okay. so yeah, eight o'clock. I'm getting old, so if you decide seven thirty, just let me know. <laughs> um, but we'll be on um, her channel at J and J Video Reacts. If you like reality TV and um, just kind of getting your mind off all the crazy stuff in the world, and Osama. At, yes, we we do like a fun. Uh, she does a review of or recap of the shows. Um, this one is the other way, right? 90, 90 Day Fiance, Fiance the other, way, the other yeah. way. So if you watch that, check that out. Go over there. She's got a pretty big following. And I'm thankful it's that growing. she takes the time to come on with little 93 subscribers over here. <laughs> Even okay. though you can't help it, you live with me. <laughs> it's still I have to force you. Um, but Buddha, thank you for your support. She um, will be there. And then don't forget Friday, if you can join, please come on at seven and hear from Angela. She's a fitness coach or fitness instructor. And we're going to have fun on that one. And um, I think Thursday, maybe I might have a guest, but we're gonna we're gonna wait and see. So who knows? We might have three streams this week. We'll we'll definitely see. But thank you. All right, Buddha said she'll be there Friday night. Yay! All right. <laughs> Anything Sweet. else you want to say on your? No, I think we covered it all. I think we well, covered it all. You. Appreciate you having me on here, Buddha. Appreciate you coming to the streams as always and being the best moderator on YouTube. And um, yeah, thank you for creating the streams and for letting us in. You're welcome. And being the, the greatest person in the whole entire world. What? I don't know about all that, but thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you, honey. Thanks for <laughs> listening, everyone. And now let's get some lentils. Let's go eat them. <laughs> <laughs>
Sadly, there's a lot of money being made in people staying sick. This has to finally make something click. We have to have this revelation that a cure means not selling medication. There's so many myths and misconceptions, but it's eye-opening once you make the connections. That meat and dairy are causing insulin resistance, it's not sugar and carbs causing diabetes, for instance. Scientifically, our bodies are not set up like carnivores. We model those who eat plants. If you can heal, why not give it a chance? You follow your car's owner's manual for what gas it takes, yet for our bodies without care, we feed it steaks. That's like giving an unleaded car diesel to drink. Our bodies will reject it, don't you think? I'm not here to tell you what to do, but to be a voice that when it comes to your health, you have the choice. With just a few adjustments to your diet, I can help if you just want to try it. I've found testimonials that people have reversed every ailment and disease by simply eliminating meat, eggs, milk, and cheese. There's a tasty substitute for all the things you already eat. You can get all your nutrients without eating meat. Save the animals, the environment, and yourself just by making a few different selections off the grocery store shelf. It's never too late. I've seen it work at all age ranges. It's my passion, and I can't wait to hear about your positive health changes. It's time for the world to wake up and heal, and you can start with your very next meal.